tourism tourism has always been tourism has always been a part of our civilization our efforts in positioning india as a global tourist destination will also create jobs stimulate investments and unlock economic opportunities for other sectors in addition to the measures outlined in the interim budget i propose the following measures vishnupad temple at gaya and mahabodhi temple at bodh gaya in bihar are of immense spiritual significance comprehensive development of vishnupad temple corridor and mahabodhi temple corridor will be supported modeled on the successful kashi vishwanath temple corridor to transform them into world class pilgrim and tourist destinations rajgir rajgir holds immense religious significance for hindus buddhists and jains the 20th tirthankara muni suvarata temple in the jain complex jain temple complex is ancient the saptarishi or the seven hot springs form a warm water brahmkund that is sacred a comprehensive development initiative for rajgir will be undertaken our government will support the development of nananda as a tourist center besides reviving nananda university to its glorious stature odisha's scenic beauty odisha's scenic beauty temples monuments craftsmanship wild wildlife sanctuaries natural landscapes and pristine beaches make it an ultimate tourism destination our government will provide assistance for their development to odisha as well priority 8 innovation research and development we will oper- operationalize the anusandhan national research fund for basic research and prototype development further we will set up a mechanism for spurring private sector driven research and innovation at commercial scale with a financing pool of 1 lakh crore rupees in line with the announcement in the interim budget space economy with our continued emphasis on expanding the space economy by five times in the next 10 years a venture capital fund of 1000 crore rupees will be set up priority 9 next generation reforms economic policy framework we will formulate an economic policy framework to delineate the overarching approach to economic development and set the scope of the next generation of reforms for facilitating employment opportunities and sustaining high growth our government will initiate and incentivize reforms for one improving productivity of factors of production and two facilitating markets and sectors to become more efficient these reforms will cover all factors of production namely land labor capital and entrepreneurship and technology as an enabler of improving total factor productivity and bridging inequality effective implementation of several of these reforms requires collaboration between the center and the states and building consensus as development of the country lies in development of the states for promoting competitive federalism and incentivizing states for faster implementation of reforms i propose to earmark a significant part of the 50 year interest free loan working with the states we will initiate the following reforms land related reforms and actions both in the rural and urban areas 
will cover land administration will cover one land administration planning and management and two urban planning usage and building bylaws these will be incentivized for completion within the next 3 years through appropriate fiscal support rural land